Hello everybody, Dr. Demonstone here. Welcome back to Ed Dunn Harvey. So, as I mentioned last time, we are just going to go to the therapy Very room. Very interesting, Mr. Pokey. And this object interaction you were talking about, is this happening in this room right now? Are you even listening? All of us in here are nothing more than... Hold on a second. Yes, what can I do for you? Why don't you come a little closer? This is the group therapy session for video game designers. If you don't have a signed registration, you can't attend. I do have a signed registration. I have a signed registration. Very well then. Please have a seat with the others. Okay, so I do have my little set okay. of notes. I love the way Everybody's she sits. Ready. Would you, as a new member of our group, like to begin, please? Okay. So. Uh, I'd like to see how this all works first. How this works first. Very well then. Let's proceed from where we were before we were interrupted. Pokey. Okay. Would you introduce yourself once again? Yeah. All right. My name is Pokey, and I had the nerve to believe I could design an adventure <laughs> game in just a few months <laughs> with just a handful of co-workers, and at the same time draw. Over 100 backgrounds and all of the animations for my graduate thesis. I see. Would you please tell us something about your formative years? I was always picked next to last during gym class. Next to uh, last. Man, I got it. Very interesting. Next question. What color would your pet have been if it had been a chicken? Why is that Ochre. a question? Ochre. I see. The case is clear. You are suffering from delusions of grandeur. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I I think I'm cured now. How? What? That's supposed to be the therapy? Why don't you give it a try? It really helped me a lot. Okay. Are we ready now? So we have to impersonate Adrian and get him cured and okay. sent Why out of the hospital. Would you be so Cuz then he's going to give us his medal. To the group. If that's necessary. Hello group. Okay, uh, I am Adrian, King of the Rec Room. Adrian, King of the Recreation Room. I see. Would you please tell us something about your formative okay, years? So I got my notes from the, uh, room downstairs. I was always picked second. I was always picked second during gym class. Second. I, I see. Let's move on to the next question. What color would your pet have been if it had been a dog? It would have been green. 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 Well, well. The case is clear. How? You've been struck by lightning. Your inability to resist atmospheric energies has frustrated you. That's why you developed a control psychosis. How you did you get that on right? Top of everything, all the time, and everywhere. This desire is so deeply seated that your subconscious has developed precognitive abilities. Why don't you just let go? Not everything has to be subject to your control. Lightning is one of these things. You don't have to feel insecure or helpless because of this. That's it. You're cured. You may go now. Okay. Oh, I'm stunned. Harvey, are you still there? Don't worry, Edna. I'll always be with you. Okay, so now we have to go back to Adrian and actually cure him with the knowledge that we have. And all we have to do is just ask him about everything that he's been through. But whenever he said, or whenever we talk about the dog, we tell him that it was red. And that cures him? Okay, so we're going to go back up to Adrian. I can't go that way yet. So we have to use the laundry lift and go back up to the rec room. Where's my hanger? Hanger. There we go. This looks dangerous. I like that he's still in the washing machine. The next exit is approaching. I like the bass guitar here. Alright. So I've been playing both versions of the game. I've been playing the old version to like get my notes ahead. Alright. Here we go. Alrighty, let's go down in here. 
Well, well. You have returned to challenge me yet again. As I foretold. Are you prepared to suffer a So now we just have to ask him about stuff. Um What place were you picked for a team during physical education Which class? Place were you picked for a team during physical education class? First, of course. What other place is there for one such as I? Ha! And what kind of pet did you have as a child? A large, snappish dog. Just a second. It doesn't work like that. Um, what color was it? What is this supposed to be? Some kind of therapy? Well, I don't understand so how this works as therapy. Which color was he? He was red. Red. Wow! You're right. Suddenly, I feel so. How does this work as therapy? So understood, and everything is so much clearer. Yes, I was hit by the same flash of lightning twice in a row, huh? and feeling utterly helpless, I developed a control psychosis. I should start to relax and take it easy. I mean, Not yeah, but... Not everything has to be subject to my control. Um, exactly. Hey, if we just... Thanks. You've helped me a great deal. Uh, we just cured him. All right, so we're gonna try and challenge him one more time. So be it, heads or tails. Let's mix up the formula and throw out tails. Indeed, tails. My turn. I choose heads. And heads, it is. That means. I get to keep the medal. Another try? Um, God, we have to keep trying until we get the medal. How do you manage to win every time? How do you manage to win every time? I do not know. It is a gift. It all began on that day. My memory is hazy. I straightened out the antenna on our roof. There was a terrible thunderstorm underway, and the metal armor I wore twinged horribly. Every time I changed my shield, which read in large letters, I taunt you, Thor, from one hand to the other. What I remember next is seeing a dazzling flash of light. What exactly it was, I cannot fathom. But after that incident, I've never been off the mark again. I thought... Oh, God. Alright, let's try again. Let's try once more. So be it. Heads or tails. There's got to be a way to beat him. Heads! Indeed! Heads! My turn. Do I just have to be lucky? tails. What's that? That cannot be. It's, I just had to it's get lucky. What does that mean? Well, foremost, this seems to mean Edna is the king. Edna <laughs> is the king. King, 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 king. Give me the medal, you mental. Your throne is mine now. And now. Wow. The medal really is made out of genuine gold. Okay. Queen of the recreation room. Right. Ruggle jug. What did you say? Grief stricken? Oh. I guess I better leave him alone in his sorrow for now. All before right. I go claim the throne that's rightfully mine. Okay, so now we have the gold, we have the mold, and we have pots and a pot holder. In order to first I should do that, because I have to um Now I am the champion. Just the champion of loons, baby! Alright, give me the metal. Alright, and no. And use okay. the metal in the pot. And now we have a metal inside of a pot. So now we have to ride. We have to ride the lift down to the bottom and go back to the furnace. The next exit is approaching. I like the smooth base. 
Here we go. The next exit is approaching. Uh, down we go, and up we go. So, and then down the stairs, because I always forget about the stairs. All right, let's go. Into the furnace room. Almo is still down there digging, uh, so I have to use the metal in the pot on the furnace. There we go. Melts away, baby. Alright, potholder, 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 potholder. This should work. Steaming pots on the okay. key mold. And now we have the steaming mold. Alright, so now we have to go back to a bathroom that has a running sink. And, damn it, I don't think I could access the sink in Petra's bathroom, but I can access the sink in the bathroom up near uh, where Bladder was, so I can just take the stairs and go up there. Alright, making good progress, up we go, up we go, this way. And into the washroom, and we use the steaming mold on the sink, and then we have a key. Okay. Cool. The water is cooled off the molten gold. Cooled off mold. Use. Yippee! I've made it! My own master key! Alright. Edna is very intelligent and able to work around a lot in spite of being like crazy she's like i didn't want to say diagnosed as crazy because she is actually crazy but still all right so down we go down here and then we can get through here now yeah I should have unlocked the padlock upstairs. I'm free at last. Kinda. Yippee! Let's go to the zoo then. We can't do that, Harv. I have to find some evidence that exonerates my dad. In that case, I hope the information can be found inside those high walls. What? Ah. Uh. Darn it. Meanwhile. Okay. Where has he been this whole time? What's going on here? Why aren't the patients having lunch? Doctor, we have a problem. Holger and Babbitt are missing. I've just solved one of the problems. Doctor, it's a catastrophe! Edna's escaped from her cell! Babbitt is tiny. Babbitt, how often have patients escaped from their cells? You mean, on a daily basis? Three! <laughs> That's terrible. How many of them have escaped over the wall. Well, none. None. That's right. That's still not the good. Way in or out is the main gate. And even if she finds a way to open the gate, she'll never get half a mile. What's with his accent? She must still be somewhere on the premises. Search every floor, one after the other. And would you please escort the patients to lunch? Alrighty. Alrighty, Roo. Alright, that is about all the time that I have. So, that is exactly all the time that I have. So, if you guys like this series and you want to see more like it, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to keep up to date with everything that I am doing. And, as always, if... Uh, and, as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.